Modoc season one release today. But if you are in the UK or outside of the US, it released only the first episode and will be releasing weekly um, on Disney Plus. But if you're in the US, all 10 episodes drop today on Hulu. And I'm here today to give you my thoughts on that. But before we get into that, remember to hit the subscribe button to help my channel grow. My goal is to eventually get to 1,000 subscribers. So please do do me a big favor by hitting the subscribe button. Also, comment what are your thoughts on this show. If you didn't know, uh, there are 10 episodes in this show. Um, I think they are planning a season two. This is made by Marvel Television, the same people who made shows like Daredevil and all those other shows. This is going to be one of their last shows that they're doing. They're also doing a monkey show for Marvel. Um, I can't at the moment think of the name of the character, but they are also doing a show for that. Um, Marvel lately has been hitting out of the park with their series. I know this isn't in the MCU, but they might have hit it out of the park again. Um, this show stars um, Pat Oswalt, Melissa Fumero from um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, it also has Ben Schwartz, John Hamm, Bill Hader. It's all around. It's a phenomenal cast. And this show and Solar Opposites are very similar. I will get into that later. Um, but I just think that this show works really well because the cast all give... Put, they all put a lot of effort into it. John Hamm plays Iron Man, and the first episode focuses solely on, like, well, not solely on, but there's a big, like, running joke, um, and it is with um, Iron Man's boot, and MODOK gets a hold of Iron Man's boot, and it's hilarious. And it really goes into the show's biggest strength, which is the humor. The action is okay, and this is, the animation is very much robot chicken, um, so if you like Robot Chicken and you like Marvel, you definitely like this because a lot of Marvel characters show up in this show. And now I want to talk about Hulu and their animated shows. Number one, Animaniacs, um, Solar Opposites, and MODOK. You know, Animaniacs is completely in a whole different age demographic from these uh, from Solar Opposites and MODOK. Um, but it being that these three shows are very hilarious, they're going to be getting multiple seasons, and they all kind of have the same humor, and that it's so weird, you know, Animaniacs kind of excluded now, but it's so out there, so bizarre, that it's hilarious, and it's also really meta, like the, I don't think these shows will age that well, because they reference so much stuff that's, you know, kind of happening now, and all like the technology that's now biggest apps and stuff like that which i don't think will age well in the future but it also helps l me love these kind of shows now because you know you relate so much to the humor you know what's going on and these shows just work so well modok season one is really funny the cast does a great job um if you like robot chicken you would like this show the animation is cool it's not great there's some problems with it um, but overall, cast is great, animation, humor, it's all great. Um, so tell me your thoughts on this show down below. I'm going to give MODOK Season 1 an 8 out of 10. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button, and may the Force be with you.